один. Галочка. Yeah? Sure it does. You saw it. Right? And the harder I go, what happens? The more, more intense the more this little elbow right? dinner comes and the forearm. Right? So if you were worried about retraction, because I want to retract, trust me. But here's something that martial art guys sometimes forget when they're teaching leg defense. I don't want you to get away. My intent when I stabbed you was not to go. I want to take this, whatever it is, screwdriver, and stick it inside of you. I don't want you to get away. I really, really need to get it into you. So my intent when I go is 100%. Not and when we look back and study tape, that's what we see. We didn't see anyone go, you know how you did knife fighting and everyone's like, no one looks, they go, and they start it second. So that helps you when you come in hard. If I'm trying to come here, if I know you have body armor, I know this won't necessarily penetrate you. So now we're learning to come underneath the armor, in through the arms or over the plate. That's why this is going to be the most common action, a thrust, a thrust, or a slap. So that, yeah, just, just, that's right. You see how your hands came? And you came forward. If you come forward, that's what's going to save you. If you get cut, you still can survive. This is the funny thing about the human body. I've seen people you know, they, they're holding their intros, and they make it. And then I see another guy looks like it's a neck, or a little hole, and he's bled out inside. So, you just never know. Once I've moved inside, I want to control this arm with everything I have. Okay? Once I've jammed, I want to clamp it, and if you see, I pull that as hard as I can. I want to drive, 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 drive. And use my legs to take out that hand. And what was I pressing on? Oh, it's hard. The flexors. Yeah. Yeah. I want to just keep damaging the flexors. flexors. Now here right now, I have a completely torn bicep tendon. It's completely torn. So this just disproves a lot of the stuff that you see being trained. People are smashing, cutting. Don't shut down. If I would have been cut in the bracket, if I would have been cut in the bigger bicep muscle, then I can't work. Or the forearm. So we can get cut pretty deep on the outside and still work. So even if I was cut or stabbed on the outside, doesn't mean I stopped. It means I continue to control. So I've reacted by checking it and driving in, driving in, pulling, driving in, and keeping my knee in. And it's the same motion, hammer fisting, until I can get that blade off. Okay? So let me just pour it for a second. So the action happens, I reacted. I could have had my left foot forward, something happens, I drive forward. You know, I want to take it control, but see how I'm pulling. Okay, I'm just going to do it slower than you can do it to me. I reacted, boom. And I just hug for dear life. So this pressure is fairly strong, and I press it out. My action happens. Boom! Stop it. Come underneath. I want to pull. For sure I want to pull. So you want to pull on this section as hard as you can. Give me my knife. Give me my knife. Exactly. 
then you pound the snot on me. Yeah, yeah you can, you'll, you'll take the weight out. So here, I make my move. Boom. Catch it. Pull, pull, pull. Knee, use your knee. Get all over that thing. Grind it in. Grind it. Here, you can put your knee in my ribs. And rip that knife out. Okay.